this is something that's a little difficult for me as a teacher to say because it sounds like I'm trivializing the knowledge that you need and the exam that you need to pass. But what I'm really saying is that there are rules, strategies, processes about how this exam works and how to pass it. And you need to understand what those are in order to make sure that you get the marks that you need. The best way that I've found to, to explain this is to use an example of thinking that the, your exam, think about your exam being a field and there are a hundred items on this field spread around in different areas different items, different sizes, etc. Right? And your job is to start from here and you have a certain amount of time to run around to this entire field and pick up as many items as possible. So if there's a hundred items on this field, your goal obviously is that within the time limitation you've got, you need to get at least 50 of those items. Now the strategy required, or it takes some thinking to think about whether or not it's worth it to, to go all the way to the other side of the field, um, or to try and collect the items that are close to you, but the question is, is that enough? If this item is really, really close to you, but it's buried really, really deep in the ground and it's really, really heavy, should you be picking it up first? If all of these items are very heavy and these ones are very light, maybe you should pick them up first. If there's a whole bunch here that are nice and close together, then maybe you should go and get them first. So this is a strategy, right? Based on the fact that you've got a limited amount of time on your hands and you've got 50 items to go and get within this amount of time. And this is why I refer to exams or exam technique as gathering marks. Your job in an exam is to gather marks and you need to consider whether you're going to spend your time looking for the easy marks or the tricky marks. Accounting students have a tendency to lean towards getting tricky marks because they feel that that is a better indication of how much they know. The reality is that you get one mark for something easy and one mark for something tricky uh, it's the same mark. You're not going to get brownie points because you did the tricky one. The problem is the tricky one probably took you five minutes to do, whereas the easy one would have taken you one minute and you could move on. So if we imagine then that your field is broken down into three sections, for example, there's three questions, one, two, and three, your question or your challenge is to say, but in the time I've got, I've got to go through each of these different sections. Do I spend all my time on question one, making sure that it is absolutely perfect, I've picked up everything I possibly can, but then I know that I'm never going to get to question three at all. I'm never going to be able to get any of those items at all. What you want to do, and the, the idea behind exam technique, is practicing how to run around that field and how to look inside each of these sections and get the easy marks. Pick up the items that are closer to you, that are lighter, that you can carry, rather than continually running to the other end of the field to go pick an item, drop it back up, spending time picking out the really, really heavy items that you can't, the really tricky questions that you can't actually do very easily, the ones that you trip over, leave them alone, move on and go and get the easy questions or go and get the easy marks out of question two. So when I talk about exam technique, when I talk about exam being a game, you're going to hear I talk about gathering marks a lot. And when I do, I want you to think about this field. Okay. It feels ugly to say as a lecturer because this doesn't represent what I feel you need to be able to do with that information in real life. This doesn't really represent the, the level of knowledge that you have or your ability to go and apply this in, in the workplace, but the objective in the exam is to pass. 
And the challenge that most students have is that they go in with an enormous amount of theory and enormous amount of technical understanding, but they don't have a strategy for how they're going to deal with this field of marks. So they come in with all this massive amount of knowledge and then they stand here, they're put on this field, and all of a sudden the rules change. I've got all this information, I've got all this knowledge, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do first, I don't know what to do last, I don't know how to approach it. My mind says I must just start with question one and do question one until I am done. And when I am done with question one, I will move to question two and I will do everything in order. That feels like the way to do it. The problem is you'll never get to question three. You may get 40% for question one and 40% for question two. But the fact that you never attempted question three means you fail anyway. So it's... Again, it's, it's tricky for me to say as a lecturer, but exams are a game in that there are rules, there are, and there are strategies that you need to learn. You need to practice how to do this so that in an exam, you can effectively run around that field gathering, and you are used to the process of running around that field and gathering 50 items out of those 100 in the limited time that you have.